Bismillah ar-Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Maliki yawmitin Iyakin abudu wa iyakin astaheen Ihtina sirat al-Mustaqeen Sirat al-Ladheen anamta alayhim Gairu al-Maddubi alayhim Waladu alayhim Amen All right Usually um, for a presentation I always like to start off with a little bit about technology and some of the things that's going on. Um, this particular piece is about Amazon Go. All right, Amazon Go is a new uh, marketplace that they are creating for you to go shopping in. All right, so we're going to take a look at Amazon Go. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go? What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that simple. Take whatever you like. Anything you pick up is automatically added to your virtual cart. If you change your mind about that cupcake, just put it back. Our technology will update your virtual cart automatically. So how does it work? We used computer vision, deep learning algorithms, and sensor fusion, much like you'd find in self-driving cars. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out Technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. No checkout. No, seriously. Now, as they start to roll out this new technology, what's the problem with this Amazon Go? What well, problem do you see? Exactly. They know they know where you're going when you come and where you are. Exactly. And they showed that last week on the news. They were talking about that last week on TV. Right. So with these advancements in technology, we're also eliminating jobs. Right. Okay. So, you know, we have to start looking at the bigger picture. It's big brother. Oh, it's, it's a very much big brother. Mm -hmm. All right. But now this next piece I want to show you real quick is about the iPhone. Uh -uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is this is actually a uh, iPhone. That's <laughs> not iPhone. Yeah, just a just another company that buys iPhone. That's not iPhone. iPhone five minutes. Now, this is actually a parody of the of the iPhone. All right, but I want you to really listen to what the guy is saying, because he's saying it in a humorous manner, but it's very serious what he's saying. Best surveillance device to date. It is a meticulously designed tracker, recorder, and data collector. Every single government agency, authority, and police officer has been considered to make sure iPhone 5 NSA can keep you safe and protect your freedom. This care, this consideration, it extends to how we collect information pertaining to you and everyone you know. And it's what led us to create Touch ID, the largest name to fingerprint database in the world. Touch ID defines the next step of how we use your iPhone. With just a touch of your home button, Touch ID reads your fingerprint so you can collect the latest apps or purchase shiny new Apple products, while we track your location through GPS and transmit data back to corporations and government. 
Our employees are literally working around the clock. In some cases, 12 hours a day, six days a week, to assemble each iPhone 5 NSA individually. And now we require all of them to sign an anti-suicide pledge to ensure our production meets your, the consumer's, demand. Now, where they make the iPhone, they were actually, the workers were actually committing suicide because of the hours they had them working, okay, the low pay, and they, they had to put nets out there, outside of the building to catch the people from jumping off the building. And where, where is this? This is in China. Wow. Okay. Just in case that doesn't work, we've installed suicide nets all along the perimeter of our 20 see, that's, room dormitory. That's actual picture of the nets outside the building, okay? catch even the most demoralized and broken down souls and safely return them to the workplace so there's enough iPhones for you and your entire family. <laughs> iPhone 5 NSA uses speech recognition technology so you don't have to bother yourself with remembering things or consulting your brain for any information ever again. Just ask it for the time, the day of the week, what your name is, sports scores, anything, really. You can ask it anything. It puts your brain in your hand and into our database. We've also developed what we like to call blackout technology, which allows authorities to block video and photos whenever they feel your security is in danger. For instance, if a political rally is ambushed by a conspiracy theorist demanding answers, the police can black out every phone in the crowd, so his questions are never heard or seen by anyone. Reporters, do your job! Please, ask some questions! And once he's silenced and his coordinates are locked in, iPhone 5 NSA takes care of the rest. Just a question, man! How are we supposed to know the truth when we can't even ask a question? It was just a question! That's all it was! iPhone 5 NSA. Aiming to put your freedom in the crosshairs. Now you gotta think about how much of our personal information we're giving up with these phones. They know our location, they know our relatives, they know our friends. Everything. We're giving up all of our information, all of our personal information. There's no, really no privacy anymore, okay? It's right. It's definitely a tracking system, but it's also this. Because what we don't think about is this is one way to prevent this. Let me show you. This is from the movie called uh, A Bug's Life. And it's an interesting piece because a lot of times they put a lot of information in movies. There was that ant that stood up to me. Yeah, but we can forget about him. Yeah, it was just one ant. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's just one ant. Yeah, boss, they're puny. Hmm, puny? Say, let's pretend this brain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this? You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. That's why we're going back. Does anybody else want to stay? Interesting piece, right? It's, it's not the white man, it's the system. See, but we gotta understand that it's the system. We keep talking about the white man this and the white man that, but it's the system. Once you understand the system, you know better how to deal with it, all right? Now, think about it. If you had somebody coming up, they were, they were ready to 
you know, try to expose things that were going on. They got all of your records, your phone records, your email, your text messages. So it's a form of blackmail. So if they find you doing anything that's not in line with what you say, then they reveal that information. Okay? It's just like they did with um, Martin Luther King Jr. A lot, of times, a lot of people don't know that he received a letter telling him to commit suicide because of all of the information that they had on him of uh, cheating on his wife. Okay? So you got to remember that this surveillance state, that's what it's about. It's about blackmail. They can blackmail any one of these leaders at any time. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you said before I brag, uh, Hooper, he did that to Martin Luther King. He sent him that letter. Right. Jeff Hooper sent him that. Right. And he was a big homosexual. Huh? Yes, he was. Hooper was a big homosexual. Yeah, he, he, was. Yeah, he, was, he was a uh, heavy cross dresser. He had 30 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He loved the little boy. He had 30 with that letter. The shine. Yeah, he was collecting fouls on everybody, mm -hmm. but he had plenty to hide. Yeah, true. Yes, he did. Now, I did a uh, presentation, I, got, I would say about, about six months ago now. Um, but we, I, was talk, I was talking about the influence of television. And, you know, somebody in the audience was telling me that, oh, well, television doesn't have that much of an effect. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. Right. They can actually watch you through your television. Yes. You're, you're absolutely right. That's been going on for years. Right. Right. But now, I want to show you. I want to show this just to stress the point of how powerful television is, especially to our children, because television is a form of programming. All right, and that's why another name for a television show is a television program, because they're programming you how to think and what to think, what to believe. Okay, watch this. Little boy watching Rocky. children do what they see. Absolutely. Okay, so think about all the things that they're exposed to. All right? Television, music videos, the internet. Okay? The internet, they, can, they have access to almost anything on the internet. 
And they're watching these things and they're copying off of these things. Yes. I was saying to the sister would be the same thing if in that video that baby was watching, if it was a gold a loaded gun and it showed you shoot your mom. Exactly. Okay, he'd be looking for his mom to shoot if it was a loaded gun. Well well think about it. One of the television shows that's on now that the kids watch is called Family Guy. Mm-hmm. All right? And one of the main themes in that that show Family Guy is that the little boy is trying to kill who? His mom. His mother. Yeah. Right? Yes. Every chance he gets. Sure. Sure. Trying to kill his mother. Uh, Stewie. Yeah. Stewie. Right. Yeah, Stewie. Right. Now, the guy who is the creator of Family Guy, a lot of people don't know, is an atheist. He's an atheist and he's a strong supporter of homosexuality. So the thing is, is that you're, when you watch this show, you're allowing him to enter his thoughts into your mind and into the minds of your children. Because at some point, the mother was having an affair with the door. With the dog. Yeah, with Brian. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. The dog in love with it. So, so, so you have to see what's going on. Exactly. Now, there was a, a memo that was passed going around circulating in the government that said that the next two things that they were going to pass since they passed the homosexual agenda was pedophilia and bestiality. All right? So now you got to think about it. That's why you have these shows programming people to feel and believe a certain way. Getting them ready, right. Because they, they're saying that the, um, the uh, psych, psychiatric, psychiatric board, they're, they're changing the name of uh, pedophilia. They're changing it from pedophilia to minor attractive. Yeah. But it's the same thing that they did with homosexuality. See, the word homosexuality had bad connotation to it, so they changed it to the word gay. what? Gay. gay. Which meant happy. happy. Okay? You see all these programs where the dogs licking the people in the men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, now, I'm not going to show the, um, the Beyonce piece, but this is a... This is a all right, this is a little... Let me go back. Well, I gotta, I gotta try to keep these. No, actually, this is one of her. This is one of her latest songs from one of her latest albums. All right, but. Yeah, that's why we try to. Well, this is not. This is not bad. I mean, it's not that bad. So it's just showing you. Here she is. She's her song, uh, uh, "Sorry," I think, and she's saying "middle fingers up." Right. All right, and in the video, she keeps throwing her middle finger up. Right. right? So now. What you saying, "Tell the boy bye"? Yeah, "Tell the boy bye." So in other words, you know. Yeah. Good yeah. Bye to the boy. You know, after you forget you, bye. Right? Okay. But now a lot of the people in society look up to her as a role model. Right? Okay. So now let's look at. No, well that, that that's a bad. That was a bad copy of it. <laughs> but now, watch the effect with the children. No. So now, what did we just say? Children do what they see. And you saw the look on her little face. Mm -hmm. Snarl. Is that a white kid or a Hispanic? Hispanic. But tell the boy bye. Yeah. Yeah. But see, the children sing these tell lyrics. Tell the bells high. It has grandma. an effect on the mentality. <laughs> yeah, right. Damn. 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 You know like how they got the boy John where the guys talking about these girls ain't loyal. Oh, so, yeah. so both sides just saying the opposite enough. sex ain't worth nothing. Exactly. We just going to use each other up. Divide and conquer. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, right. But, the, 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 go ahead, sister. Go ahead. It's 
shows you the demonic side. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Illuminati. Yeah. Well, 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 see, the, the, the thing is that they've, run, they've thrown this Illuminati thing around so much yeah. that it's lost its power. Yeah. Okay? And that's what they intended yeah. to that's do. They wanted to keep Water it talking down. about, right, water it down. People are not no longer really paying attention to this. They still exist. And when Kanye right. said, you know, I sold my soul to the devil, he came on and said it. People are saying, oh, yeah, Kanye said it. And I'm like, do you hear what you're saying? Yeah. But it's like, oh, yeah, Kanye said I sold my soul. But see, what you, what you have to remember, I worked with a, a group of kids the other day. And I had them list their role models for me. I had them tell me what they watch on television. Okay. And you should, you would have been shocked at the stuff that you that you saw on those lists. No, really and every not. time, and, 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 and I'm not just talking about, um, uh, you know, uh, I'm talking about Muslim children too. All right. And I had Muslim, I had a, a Muslim little girl that I was talking to, and she's a like a staunch supporter of homosexuality. Okay. So the thing is, is that we're not really teaching our children about Islam. You know? I had a stepsister, some little Muslim girl, was with this group, this little Muslim you know? girl, was hovering on her behind and walking down the street. So when I stepped to her what? and said, Sound let me come over here, let me speak to you, the one who was grabbing her butt was like, Look at her behind. Mm -hmm. No respect whatsoever. No. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely right. They were young teenagers. But it's, it's the program. See, when we start to realize that television and music, are being used for programming, right. we'll start to get it. Okay? Go ahead, I can. You know, most of us, if we go back into the 80s, and this is some of you, my mama, election back in the old days, mm -hmm. this is coming to be a reality, because mm -hmm. you were talking about this years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You go back to the yes. election, look at this today. Everything is probably in place. And everybody can see it. That's why they call it the Bluetooth. But even beyond, not that. Where is this in mind? Even with Beyonce, not but that it, taking up for her, but I guess people got to monitor what their kids watch. I mean, well, well the thing is this. You got to watch. Exactly. And our children are spending more time with these forms of media than they are with us. Exactly. Okay. So those things are becoming. They're on their cell phones, too. Right. That's what I'm saying. They're on these cell phones, they have access to the internet. Okay, and, and, and this is the thing about the internet, and you have to really think about this. What I've been telling people is that the people that run this system are occultists. Okay, they're heavy into numerology, uh, Satanism, astrology, all of these things. What is the logo for the Apple computer? What's the what? What is the logo for the Apple computer? Exactly. Like Adam and Eve. There you go. And plus the internet, a net is something that can drive. Right. The worldwide web. So web to ensnare you. When you look up the word web, it means to ensnare, to capture. And that's what they're doing. They're capturing your information, but they're capturing the souls of your children. Thank you. Right, exactly. But they'll be showing us mentally, physically, and spiritually if we allow them. To. I had an opportunity in my youth to be a professional vocalist, mm. but when it became clear to me that I would have had to sell my soul, mm. I left it alone. It was I had a chance to come to Islam or go into the music industry, and I'm grateful to Allah that I chose the right instead of the left. left. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Aki. I thought about Rihanna, she, I was in Barbados, mm -hmm. and the tour guide said he took us past her house mm -hmm. and church, yeah. and, and he said that she told the people of her church she doesn't want to be a part of God no more. All she wants to be is another Beyonce. Wow. She wants to be just like her. Whatever she does, that's what she wow. wants to do. She said, forget the church. Wow. She said, and she said, and they asked her, because they had asked her, do you have anything to offer the church now that you made it big? She said, nothing. I have nothing. For wow. I don't want to do nothing but be like Beyonce. Right. And these are the role models for our children. What a goal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they for the here and there. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But this next piece I'm going to throw on, this is the... Uh, Now, this is from a Katy Perry video, all right? 
But this is not, this is no horror movie. <laughs> but I mean, but this is one of her videos, and it's called uh, Dark Horse. Okay, this is not the actual video, but it's, I'm just going to show you a clip from this video. All right, but what you can see is the man is wearing a necklace, and it has a law on it. Right. You see it? Yeah. All right. So if you look, look there. All right. So in this video. Right, they destroy the they destroy the man. Right. Okay. No, it's not a movie. It's, it's a it's a music video. Katy Perry's music video for her song Dark Horse sounds like a love letter to Lucifer and looks like a clear Illuminati induction, cementing her as one of the most popular Illuminati puppets in entertainment today. The video is littered with Illuminati all-seeing eyes, pyramids, and serpents, and the overall theme is that of black magic, as Katy Perry embodies Isis, the Egyptian goddess, who then zaps potential suitors with her black magic powers while singing about magic and saying that once you are hers, there's no turning back. So what you guys have just heard is most likely true. I mean, let's face it, many music videos these days, whether directly or indirectly, promote Satan worship, glorify Satan, or Lucifer as they're referred to. But what I want to focus on in this video is not this. What I want to focus on is a particular image or a section of her new video, The Dark Horse, which shows an individual wearing the name of Allah, the name of God, as a locket. And this is, this is caused uproar. This has really offended many Muslims, millions of Muslims around the world, and it's distressed them, and it's, so, so it's done the same to me as well. But what I want to point out, brothers and sisters and friends, is that yes, this has upset us, and rightly so, but we should respond, and we should respond in a positive way. We shouldn't just sit there getting angry, because the reality is, brothers and sisters, that Allah, God, has blessed us with something far greater, something far greater than these people have, Wallahi. The reality is, these people may have all the money, may have all the cars, the houses, the boats, the fame, or whatever else it may be, but inside they're empty, inside they're dead. As Allah tells us in the Quran, very your hearts find rest in the remembrance of Allah. These people ain't remembering Allah. What's the stake going to be? And we can see, I mean, just look over the past few years, how many rich, famous celebrities, people that belong to the music industry have died, committed suicide, died because of, died because of drug overdoses. I mean, the, 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 the proof is there. The reality is there. These things don't satisfy you. These things aren't going to give you happiness or satisfaction. They may give you momentary fame or money or, or temporary ephemeral pleasure, which is an illusion anyway and is not going to last. But they're not going to give you ultimate happiness. And if you think about it, that's what's going on. It's a battle of materialism versus spirituality. You know. Charlie, I remember because I just I have nothing but disdain for her ever since. Mm. Erica Badu on some award show <laughs> and on full Muslim God mm. and Nikab on her face. Mm. We sat up there singing and performing in full Muslim God. Mm. I just wait, I, look, I pray Allah allow me today to see her, to, to really pull her coat. Mm. I thought it was the most blatant disrespect to Islam, to the Muslim, the Muslima, the Muslim woman right. that I have ever seen. Oh. Well, well, well she's supposed to be a cultural sister. Yeah, but a lot of them get caught up and the other belief systems, like occultic belief systems. So, you're going to put on a, a 